surgical masks were originally designed to minimize contamination caused by exhaled microorganisms. With increased concerns over AIDS and other infectious diseases, healthcare workers are expecting masks to do more. Fluid resistance and filtration of submicron particles are now desirable attributes in a surgical mask. Laser surgery and orthopedic surgery are two areas where filtration of submicron particles is important. In laser surgery, the energy produced is so intense that tissue is vaporized. Viral DNA has been found in laser plume. Current studies suggest that laser plume may contain infectious agents. Orthopedic surgeons use high-speed rotary instruments during bone surgery. These instruments are thought to cause blood and body fluids to be aerosolized. These aerosolized particles are reported to be in the submicron range and may be a potential source of infectious agents. Many orthopedic surgeons are looking for masks that offer submicron filtration. The new aseptix submicron molded surgical mask is designed to address this market. The 1812 is a molded mask with two straps. The mask filter material is thicker than any mask you currently sell. It is, however, made of similar materials. The two straps hold the mask securely to the face. This provides a better face fit than is possible with a tie-on mask. Face fit is an important consideration in limiting inward air leakage. This is especially necessary in filtering submicron particles. Unlike the other surgical masks that you sell, the 1812 has two filtration claims. The first refers to its ability to perform the primary function of a surgical mask, to minimize contamination caused by exhaled microorganisms. Using the Green and Vesley test, the 1812 has a filtration efficiency of greater than 99%. The other filtration claim refers to the ability of the mask to filter submicron particles. The test method that is used to determine efficiency to 0.3 micron particles is the DOP test. An explanation of the DOP test can be found in the technical update laser plume issues. Using the DOP test, the 1812 has a filtration efficiency of greater than 75 percent. The newly revised technical update on laser plume issues gives the results of DOP testing on most competitive masks. The 1812 is fluid resistant, offering an extra margin of protection to reduce risk of contact with blood and body fluids. Donning of 1812 is significantly different than traditional masks. In-servicing is essential for a successful evaluation. Eyewear should be removed and then put on after the mask is secured. Cup the mask in your hand with the nose piece at your fingertips, allowing the headbands to hang freely below your hands. Position the mask under your chin with the nose piece up. Pull the top strap over your head resting high at the top back of your head. Pull the bottom strap over your head and position it around your neck below the ears. Place your fingertips from both hands at the top of the metal nose piece. Mold the nose area to the shape of your nose by pushing inward while moving your fingertips down both sides of the nose piece. Pinching the nose piece using one hand may result in less effective mask performance use two hands. After the mask is on, replace your eyewear. Removal. First, remove your eyewear. Cup the mask in your hand to maintain position on your face. Pull the bottom strap over your head. Pull the top strap over your head while continuing to hold the mask in position. Remove mask from your face and discard. The 1812 competes with other products that claim high efficiency to submicron particles. These competitive products are 
Technol laser mask. Precept micro guard. Stack house point three surgical mask. Surgico's laser plume mask. And Baxter ultra high filtration mask. Of the competitors, all but the Baxter mask are tie-ons. When the concern is submicron particles, face fit should be a serious consideration. A better face fit is achieved with a molded mask with two straps than with a tie-on. Tie-on mask face fit effectiveness is largely dependent on how well and securely the individual ties it. The filtration claims are either ambiguous, like Stackhouse and Precept, or they claim higher efficiency than the 1812. Point out to your customers that the claims for the Precept and Stackhouse masks are meaningless because no percent efficiency is given. Is it 2%, 10%, 75%? The filtration efficiency claims are a function of the test methodology. Several different methods were used. Use the technical update to demonstrate to your customers what happens when masks are compared using the same method. The newly revised technical update on laser plume issues will provide the DOP results on most competitive masks. The 1812 is fluid resistant, offering the barrier protection from blood and body fluids recommended by the Centers for Disease Control. The 1812 provides a better facial fit than do tie-on masks. Face fit affects the amount of particles to which the wearer is exposed. The 1812's high filtration and face fit make it superior to conventional surgical masks on the market. This new product positions 3M as a leader in surgical mask technology. The 1812 is not for every hospital. The design makes it less comfortable to wear than traditional masks. But if your customer has a high perceived need, the 1812 may be appropriate. Our literature and package contain a warning statement. Competitive products do not. Surgical masks are not respirators, and they do not offer respiratory protection. Neither we nor our competitors should claim that they do. Surgical masks will not prevent the user from getting infectious diseases. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration has not set acceptable exposure levels for biohazards. Because an acceptable exposure level has not been set, respiratory protection cannot be claimed by any manufacturer. Our customer safety is our chief concern, and we will not promise more than can be delivered. Please emphasize this when selling the 1812. Using the proper selling strategy for this product is key. Identifying target customers with high perceived need. Not all hospitals have lasers. Identify a head nurse or physician in charge of lasers. Frequently, hospitals will have laser committees. Primary users of lasers are gynecologists and dermatologists. Orthopedic surgeons are also targets for this product. The higher filtration to submicron particles and the superior facial fit will be, of an, will be of interest to those concerned about aerosolized particles. Because the 1812 does not have the same comfort level as tie-on masks, it is important that potential users be sold on the need for the mask and reasons for its design. Making a presentation of laser committee or to its members individually will enhance the chances for success. In-servicing of this product is critical. I recommend against an evaluation if you are unable to in-service all who will be using the product. During the in-service, discuss the reasons for higher filtration. In order to reduce exposure to submicron particles, higher filtration and better facial fit is required. The 1812's molded design with two straps reduces the potential for leakage of unfiltered air around the mask edges by holding it securely to the face. Tie-on masks do not offer this. Also, cover the differences in claims. The important point is to compare results using the same test method from the same lab. Give your customers realistic expectations. Tell them that the mask will not have the same comfort level as other masks they are using or are accustomed to, and why.
Here are two objections you'll hear and suggested responses. You may hear comments such as, it's too difficult to breathe through. You might respond, the 1812 filters more of the submicron particles than other masks. More filter material requires more effort to breathe through. They may also say it's too tight. Ask, why do you wish to wear a high filtration mask? Then suggest that the 1812 offers a tight face fit for a reason, to reduce the potential for leakage of unfiltered air around the mask edges. Use 1812 to talk about masks and position 3M as the leader in surgical masks. The 1812 is designed for customers with a high perceived need for filtration of submicron particles. Careful targeting, selling, in-servicing, and positioning are the keys to success. Good luck in selling the 1812 aseptics submicron surgical mask.